What's a good conversation starter to ask your crush? Ask three questions. Ask them what they have done today. Ask a follow-up question, or relate it back to something, if you can, before asking a follow-up, did it take long? I used to do insert what crush did here. Was it difficult? If they gave an answer longer than a sentence, then ask them a question about themselves, but have this set up beforehand depending on how long you have known this individual. If they give a sentence answer, try another follow-up question. If they give one to two word answers, it means they're either busy or not interested, so you're shit out of luck. I do questions similar to avoid comp test. You receive a windfall of money and can go on any trip anywhere in the world for a month. Where do you go and what do you do? You see a turtle in the desert. You flip it onto its back and watch it struggle. Why aren't you helping it? Huh? Why would I flip a poor turtle over? Sorry, I don't date people who torture animals. But you're the one who. Presumably you already run in some circles with and or know something of the interests of your crush. When asking about your crush's interests, avoid yes slash no questions or list requests. Instead, ask for explanations, insights or stories. For example, rather than ask what your crush's favorite movies or musicians are, ask how your crush became interested in a certain kind of music or the movies of a certain director or actor. My name is Yoshikij Kira. I'm 33 years old. My house is in the northeast section of Moria, where all the villas are, and I'm not married. I work as an employee for the KMU department stores, and I get home every day by 8pm at the latest. I don't smoke, but I occasionally drink. I'm in bed by 11pm, and make sure I get 8 hours of sleep, no matter what. After having a glass of warm milk and doing about 20 minutes of stretches before going to bed, I usually have no problem sleeping until morning. Just like a baby, I wake up without any fatigue or stress in the morning. I was told there were no issues at my last checkup. I'm trying to explain that I'm a person who wishes to live a very quiet life. I take care not to trouble myself with any enemies, like winning and losing, that would cause me to lose sleep at night. That is how I deal with society, and I know that is what brings me happiness. Although, if I were to fight I wouldn't lose to anyone. If she slash he is quite attractive, during a conversation that involves a bit of more in-depth talk, like aspirations and whatnot, find a good way to seg into what do you feel are three amazing things about you that have nothing to do with your looks. It's a good one. Leaves a solid impression if you actually genuinely wish to know her slash his feelings on themselves. They'll remember it and that's a good thing. Serious answer. I ask them about a recent news item that has a topic that is important to me. Example. Hey, crush, did you hear that Bernie Sanders dropped out of the presidential race yesterday? It gets the conversation going and shows you are interested in their opinion, but it also is kind of a pre-screening for any major incompatibilities I might be blind to because I have feels for them. Ask them what superpower they would choose and why. It's a fun question, plus you have room to deepen the conversation from whatever answer they give you. My BF asked me what kind of bender I would be on our first date and I just remember it being one of the highlights of my day. If someone picks fire, just know in advance that they're a whole cute mess and a half. My BF was trying to light a candle yesterday and dropped the match onto a pile of pictures and then they caught on fire. My BF enjoys pastimes where he calmly puts his finger into a flame to prove to me what a pyro he is. My BF also liked setting things on fire in his room when he was in middle school and effectively blew a hole in his bedroom carpet by lighting a firework. Thankfully, he does not do that anymore. He is now an adult pyro with more experience, which is both a blessing and a curse. The things you learn from one little question. I had a thing for my flatmate's sister. She worked in a shop in town, and I worked at the other end of town. I'd pass the shop on my lunch break, and go in, and ask if she wanted anything grabbing for her lunch. It was an innocent, unloaded question that showed genuine concern for her welfare. We are married with three kids now and it's hell. Don't get sucked in. Slash. My favorite icebreaker is asking what superpower they'd want to have. It's generic, but it gives me a feel for how imaginative slash fun someone is and that's an important trait for someone to have if they are going to click with me. Try asking questions that aren't too deep, but that still give you the info that you're looking for in terms of their personality and values. 
It's better not to have any sort of script and just let the conversation flow naturally. It's cliche, but ultimately, you're looking for someone who likes you, right? Not the fake version of yourself that you turn on to impress them. Anyone can be a people pleaser, but not everyone is brave enough to be themselves from the start. The real you is going to have to come out eventually anyway. Might as well just skip the dance and get to the point. Ask them about themselves. Hobbies, favorite foods, what they like to do for fun, how is their family, etc. They are comfortable with with these topics and know all about themselves. Plus, people tend to like talking about themselves. You must take mental notes for future use, favorite foods, future restaurant to take them to, etc. Here's one that I always found adorable. A girl actually had a crush on me, she was really into spiritual stuff, horoscopes, religion, all that stuff. She would very often tell me facts about astrology. One time, we were hanging outside my house. She told me that she could read palms. I put out my hand and asked if she could read mine. She said yes and took to reading. After a bit, she told me some stuff about my future. She later admitted that she lied and said it was just so she could hold my hand. What's your favorite thing ever? You'll get lots of good answers with this. Also, try to mix questions with assumptions egg did you play any sports in high school? VS I bet you played volleyball in high school. The latter is more interesting and encourages a diff style of convo than Q plus A. This is the trick for texting a crush. Send emoji of a bull then, claim your bull roll in here ask them if they have time to throw it back and then try start a conversation or if you're really balsy start off with that your fish drowned. That last one is a real shot in the dark, but hey. Don't claim you've tried everything if you didn't attempt that last one. Ask a question you already know the answer to and pretend you don't know so they can answer the question. Example, hey crush do you know the answer to this question? Or even asking for help slash answers, they'll respond yes or no and you can take the conversation from there. If they say no, for the people who will ask, if they say no you can push it a little bit. If they say no, but do know the answer you can playfully beg or ask casually like Oakmon crush you know the answer can you just tell me or show me how you got it. If they really don't know ask another question on the homework or work slash thing are doing. BTW this probably won't work through online. If it's online ask if they want to play online games with you. Simple easy browser games not like paid games or games that take a long time to download. Try to play fun games or stupid shit that's it's plain dumb but funny. Example gang beasts hope this helps people who have bad social interaction skills these are my cheat codes. It can also work with new people, not just crushes last thing. If they don't like games do something where you have a common interest. Don't be a simp and agree to what they want to do you got a compromise here. Ask for advice slash direction slash help with something simple and immediate, not a huge favor or anything long standing, like could you help me become fluent in Russian by tutoring me four times a week, take it from there, at the very least you've built rapport for next time. Also, don't push it, if they give a short answer, say thanks and move on, at least for the day, if they reply unkindly or negatively, find a new crush. Don't listen to the people giving you algorithmic responses. There's no cheat sheet with pre-planned Q&As along with a neat interpretative guide. Just get out there and try. You may succeed, or you may fail. If you fail, well, you'll be better at it next time around, and at some point you will no longer feel the urge to ask Reddit, because you'll know what to do. Use a corny joke. Here's my go-to joke. Hey how do you get an elephant into a refrigerator? IDK. How do you? While well, you open the door and let him walk in. Now here is the key part, and you will need to be creative, and know some of what happening in Africa or at least sound like you do. Talk to them about a new policy, put into place in, let's say Ethiopia, to protect an endangered species. Except the species is so endangered due to poaching that as we speak they are having major problems locating all of the documented animals of the species, to help move them into a compound, so they can procreate and get the numbers up. Ask them if they know which species it is, if they don't answer tell them to just guess. After they make their guess you move in for the kill now. Yeah they can't find the elephant. It's still in the refrigerator. This joke works best if they did not guess the elephant, but also is a good segue to chat about things, even though you're misleading them for a while. 
Usually you want maybe 1 to 2 minutes of space between the setup and the punk line. Ask them questions about what you'd consider important. Family, school, job, pets. But keep it light and non-invasive. Let them talk about themselves. And never angle it about you. Don't try to find out if they are interested in what you're interested in. Just be interested in what they say. People are either attracted to each other or they're not. So just the most mundane conversation should be enough. I've never gotten anywhere just trying to find out what people want in a relationship or what would make them happy.